I love the seasons, I love this weather here in Germany. It's currently nice and cold. The arrival of fall slowly transitioning into winter. I love those nice cold walks outside the fresh air and also then being cozy inside. Fantastic for the body and just feels fresh and energized and alive. Today I want to share with you a breathing exercise called Dirga Pranayama, also known as the natural breath or the three-part breathing. Some people also call it the yogic breathing. And what this breathing exercise does is it's helping us breathing fully and utilizing the full breath that we have. Dirga can be translated as deep or long or prolonged and pranayama is a breathing exercise. Prana, however, is also the vital life force energy. And so by practicing Dirga Pranayama, we prolong our life energy and perhaps even our life. By breathing better, you live better, hopefully healthier, and then also longer. So it's the prolonged breathing, the three-part breathing I want to share with you today. You do not need anything for this practice. You also don't need any prior experience with breathing exercises. You can just do this anywhere, sitting down on a chair, maybe on the floor, cross-legged if you want, if that's comfortable for you. And you can also practice this throughout the day while you're standing, while you're walking. So hopefully this practice is now the formal practice on the mat, but then eventually the practice should extend into your day-to-day -day life so that you, while you are off the mat, you continue with the practice of a nice deep long breath the three-part breathing and you continue the mindfulness practice and the meditative state that you might evoke through this practice awareness always precedes change so before we want to change our breath and before i guide you through dirga pranayama i want you to put your right hand on your belly and the left hand on your chest close your eyes and take several breaths, just taking in the current state of your breath. Notice the air coming in and out through the nose. And then notice if you're breathing more into the right hand or more into the left hand, meaning more into the belly, more into the chest, maybe it's equal. Without changing anything, we're again just taking inventory, just checking in with the current state. relax you can put the hands back down just make a mental note for you what you noticed if you're breathing more into the belly more into the chest maybe both for me it's definitely more belly than into the chest a lot more movement with the breath in the belly than in the chest for a lot of people it's equal maybe more into the chest less in the belly maybe all in the chest nothing with the belly is moving it's totally fine We'll just make a note now and we will work on evening that out a little bit for about 10 breaths. So we'll go through 10 rounds of Durga Pranayama together. You can do more, you can do a little bit less, whatever works for you. But it's a nice reminder and bring some more awareness to your current breathing so that, like I said earlier, it will hopefully extend off the mat and you can take that into your day. Some of the benefits of this breathing exercise is that it makes you more relaxed, more calm. It shifts you more into the parasympathetic state of the nervous system that's usually related, related to all the R words. So relax, restore, recover, all of that. There's also been some studies at Harvard, I think, that showed that it will or, or can reduce blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, this might be a nice natural way to reduce it a little bit since it changes also the blood vessels and how the blood is flowing in your body because of this 
relaxed state it induces. Oftentimes during pregnancy, because the baby is growing and taking up so much space, it's difficult for the women to breathe into the belly and use the diaphragm and the belly breathing a lot. So the natural tendency is then to breathe more in the chest. Then when the baby is born and you have technically all that space again to breathe into the belly, because you created this pattern for so many months, a lot of women keep breathing only with the chest and not so much with the belly anymore. So Dirga Pranayama is a good way also to come back to that natural breathing, that three-part breathing using the belly, the rib cage, the chest, and maybe even breathing higher up into the neck and the head. So let's just jump into the practice. As with everything with yoga, it's not enough to just know about it, to know that there's all these breathing exercises, that they're good for you, but then you actually don't do them. So you really have to sit down and do the practice every single day. This is a tutorial style video, so it's a little bit more with the explanation. But once you went through this video, once, twice, maybe three times, you should know how to do it. And it's very easy to then perform 10 breaths, for example, at uh, Dirga Pranayama. So we again put the right hand on the belly and the left hand first, kind of between the chest and the belly. So the beginning of the rib cage. Close your eyes. Exhale all the air out and breathe into the belly. Breathe into your right hand. And exhale. So now we're breathing only into the belly. Inhale. And exhale. You want to feel the right hand move. And we go take two more breaths just like that into the belly, into the right hand. Very good. Now you breathe into the belly with the inhale and then let the breath travel upwards into the left hand. So first into the right hand and then up to the left. As you exhale, exhale first through the left hand out. So first the rib cage out and then down to the belly out. So you're breathing from the bottom in to the belly, moving upwards towards the rib cage. And then from the rib cage, you're moving, exhaling down through the belly all the way out, emptying the lungs all the way. Keep going, keep going with the breath into the belly, rising upwards to the rib cage. On your exhale from there, down towards the belly. Take just two or three breaths like that. And imagine it's like a wave coming from the bottom up through the body and then from the top again down in a nice wave shape. No strain here, no forcing it, no pressure. Just find that nice balance of ease and effort. Very good. So now you can move the left hand up towards the chest. And we now connect, or now we do three parts. So we did the two parts first, the belly and the rib cage. And now we're breathing higher up into the chest and perhaps even a little bit higher up than the chest. So again, exhale all the air out. As you inhale into the belly, up towards the rib cage, and then up towards the chest, towards the left hand. With the exhale, you're exhaling first up from the chest, down to the rib cage, and then down to the belly. Another inhale into the belly, into the right hand, up to the rib cage, even higher up towards the chest. From the chest, you exhale and let the air out downwards through the rib cage, down out of the belly. And let's take three more just like that.
and relax. Very good. Now we're doing about 10 breaths total, the full Durga Pranayama technique, breathing exercise. See if you can breathe a little even higher into the chest and maybe even up to the throat or to the neck. You can visualize and imagine you're breathing up into the head. So from the belly, you're breathing in through the rib cage upwards, through the chest, into the neck, into the head. And then from the head, you're exhaling the air out through the neck, the chest, the rib cage, the belly. And let's take about 10 breaths. This will be the full and final practice that you can do daily if you want. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall, you're comfortable, and it uh, should only take a couple of minutes or several minutes, I should say, to uh, complete these 10 breaths. So when you're ready, let's do it. Bring the right hand on the belly and the left hand on the chest, a little bit higher up towards the neck. And we exhale all the air out and 10 breaths of those three part breathing Durga Pranayama. Inhale into the belly, into the right hand, up through the rib cage, into the chest, even higher up to the neck. Imagine breathing into the head and then from there down from the top to bottom, head, neck, chest, rib cage, belly. And let's take nine more. Take your time to finish up. 10 breaths total. And you're breathing a lot deeper and fuller just by focusing on those different areas of sending the breath there. You automatically breathe deeper and fuller, which is exactly where the name comes from. Deep, prolonged, long breathing. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you're feeling good, relaxed, and know that it will get easier with practice. It might be now a little bit intense for you to breathe so deep and also send the breath into those areas. But of course, it's, you can't expect that you find this super effortless state right away and it's super smooth and simple and easy for you to do. It takes some practice, it takes repetition. So come back tomorrow or later today, try it out again in your own time, just 10 breaths like this. Also wonderful to do in times where you feel tension and stress to just relax a bit more. And after those 10 deep breaths, usually everything looks a little bit better and you're more at ease, maybe a bit happier, happier and more at peace. Thank you for joining me today. Looking forward to reading in the comments how you're feeling, how you liked this breathing exercise. Again, consider supporting this channel by liking the video and by subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one with love and gratitude. Namaste.